Please welcome Glenn Foster. Oh, oh thank you. Thank you. Oh. Oh, that is so nice. Thank you. This is such a great job, you know? I talk to so many people who hate their job. I love my job, seriously, you know? I've been doing this a long time. There are days, literally, I cannot wait to jump out of bed in the afternoon, you know? I am fired up, ready to rock. It turns out, in fact, I have ADD, and I just found out this year. Adult ADD. Have you even heard of this crap? Because normally... Normally, they get it when you're a kid, right? When you're a kid, oh, they can't wait for a kid to have ADD. Oh, oh, this one's displaying signs of an imagination. Drug him. Drug him. But I have adult ADD, which is way worse than ADD. First of all, it's not even ADD. Technically, it's like A-A-D-D-A. So, extra stuff to have to think about. Thank you very much, eh? It's adult ADD. It's like ADD, but it's all grown up and scary now. Eh? It can drive and vote. It's just, you don't want it out there. You don't, it's dangerous. It's, oh man, things have been rough. For at one point there, we actually had to bail out the banks. Listen to that statement, bail out the banks. Because God knows it's hard to make money as a bank, isn't it? Oh, my Lord, there are so many rules, eh? You're only allowed to charge someone $2 to take their own freaking money out of their own freaking account. Well, how do you stay in business, I wonder, every day? 28% interest on a credit card, $25 charge to me if someone writes me a bad check. Well, hey, if this is your business model, I can't believe you haven't run into trouble before now, you know? <laughs> Honestly, if only the system were more tilted in their favor, you know? <laughs> if only, I don't know, maybe they could borrow money at a much lower rate of interest than they loan it to you. If, if only they had vast real estate holdings to fall back on in these tough times. At one point, the largest insurance company in the world was on the brink of collapse. And I remember thinking, well, don't they have insurance? <laughs> Can't they just sneak in? I'm amazed there are any men left at all when you think about it. You look around the world, every day, 24 hours a day, men are trying to kill each other, eh? And then we're trying to think up new ways to kill each other. And when we're not trying to keep up with ways to kill each other, we're trying to come up with ways to kill ourselves. <laughs> Bungee jumping was not invented by a woman. You're never going to see the female version of jackass. <laughs> Here's a guy in a cave in Afghanistan. Click, boom. It's that simple, huh? Click, boom. Boom, click, boom, boom, click, click, it, boom, boom, click, click, boom, boom, click. And yet, I could be downtown Montreal and not get a clear signal. I mean, come on. It's all bars for Farouk, no problem, huh? They never get all circuits are busy. Your jihad is important to us. Please choose a secondary target and return at a later time. <laughs> How about these smart cars? Have you seen those? Uh, oh. How smart do you feel? Uh. <laughs> Looking out your sunroof at the underbelly of an 18-wheeler. <laughs> you make a wrong turn, you're into the wheel. Whop, 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 whop. We got to pry out of the tread at the next truck stop. Yeah. Uh, save fuel, though, huh? <laughs> Oh, I love the hybrids too, eh? Don't you? They all oh, lots of new hybrids now, right? But you know, they're not going to sell them to guys. There's no way. It's not a car. It doesn't make a noise, huh? You have driven the hybrid thing. They make no noise. My wife's vibrator makes more noise. I, I think it's hard to tell for the screaming. She should not be doing that in the car. That's not smart. That is not smart. Not a country. 
We're like a bunch of little countries, more like. We're more like Europe, sort of. Well, except that they're starting to get along with each other, so. <laughs> Of course, there's always that underlying tension, eh, between France and pff, anybody else. Really. <laughs> English and French, that's our heritage, huh? Oh, brilliant. Here's a good stable platform to build your future on, huh? <laughs> oh, two countries that were at war with each other for hundreds of years. Eventually, the war spills over into North America, probably because the rest of Europe is like, hey! You too! Take it outside! Eh? <laughs> and they're listening in. They're listening in for training purposes. <laughs> training people to talk on the phone? Is that what the world has come? Train them to pick up the phone. That's the first step. <laughs> this is on the job training you're going to get today. There's a war going on. We don't have time for it. We've got to rush these recruits right to the front lines. What the hell is going on in these training sessions? A bring, 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 bring. Don't answer that. You're not trained. Stay back. Stay back. Bring, bring, bring. Get away from the bring, bring, bring. Oh, this is unusual. Bring, 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 bring. This is higher than normal. Hundred and twenty-five thousand years, that's it. Then no more men. Huh? Kinda sad. Yeah, women are women are cheering there, but you're not thinking this out. It's kinda like the little gains you get at the casino before you tap out completely. Sounds sad, hundred and twenty-five thousand years, but those last thousand years are gonna be glorious. Huh? Ladies, you think we're jerks now. <laughs> Wait till we have the law of supply and demand on our side. <laughs> yeah, you know, because women will say things like, I wouldn't sleep with you if you're the last man on earth. <laughs> well. <laughs> That's right, ladies. Men may be on the way out, but we're not going with a whimper. We're going with a bang. Thank you. Good night.